Good morning. This is uh, Prophet Six, Family Prophets of the Angel of the Church to the Lay of the Sins. May the Most High bless you. I have something that I want to share with you all um, that I saw, and I just want y'all to take a look at this uh, because it explains a lot. I'm going to play it. He loses keys, or is he blatantly stealing that bike? In broad daylight, he hammers and then saws on the chain. When that doesn't work, he pulls out an industrial sized bolt cutter. And when he's asked, he messes up. You lost the lock? Uh, no, not Well, what they're basically doing is a, a social experiment here. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the audio. I really haven't figured out how to do the audio but there's a Caucasian guy here and he is um, they're doing a social experiment where he is pretending he's an actor pretending to steal a bike okay and so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk while it's going because I don't know if you can hear it exactly but he's not a real thief Justin Kelly is an actor, and our hidden cameras are rolling. What happened? Um, nothing. I just, I can't get through the lock. I mean, I know it's weird, but you wouldn't happen to know whose bike this is. So he's, he's making it clear that he's... It was odd that somebody had all that, uh, that equipment. But you didn't do anything. No. That's true. I want to go back a little bit. Lots of people stop and stare. A few even question the actor. Justin asked, is that your bike? I guess technically no. So this lady, this lady asks, is it your bike? And he says, technically no. And she said, oh, okay. And she keeps walking. See, this is the reason why prisons are not filled with Caucasian people, y'all. Okay. I, I, I know what the little hand ringers are going to say. I know. Well, black people are actually doing crime. But you're missing the point. White people are doing crime. They're not reporting it though. They say in this video clip, they say that the boy was there for over an hour trying to steal this bike. And over 100 people passed him, walked past him, confronted him. 100 before one person said, you know what, I'm going to call. And when they say they're going to call, they just said they're going to call somebody. They never said they're going to call the police. They never said that. Why are the prisons filled with black people? Okay, why? Why are the Department of Justice numbers for African Americans doing crime not on par with Caucasians. Caucasians are not calling the police on their people like black and white people are calling the police on black people. That's not happening. I, and it don't matter what crime, y'all. Murder, larceny, aggravated assault, aggravated bat. It, it, they're not calling the police like that. So, you have white people who are your enemies. They call the police on you right away. And then you have black people. They're your enemies. Because they call the police on you right away too. Why? Because they have the same narrative in their mind. Now watch this video. Okay. Bye. So she just walks off. One of the persons even said, good luck. Good luck. Wow. He tells her he's still in the bike. She says, good luck. Wow, that's amazing. Good luck. Good Now, this is going on for over an hour, y'all. Watch this. About a hundred people passed on. Only George and our... A hundred people passed on in an hour. 
try to stop him. Now, and, and, and what's so funny about this? He takes out a hammer to break the chain. He takes out a hacksaw. He takes out a bolt cutter. And then, um, this is the, this, the, everything we're seeing in here is white supremacy. Some tell us they plan to call the police later. Others say they're scared. He's doing his best to act as suspicious as possible. He even pulls out a nail pool and a hammer and beats on the chain and looks all suspicious and stuff. People just jog right past him. That's white supremacy, y'all. That's white supremacy. Woman and her friends. Now, here come two African Americans. We're going to see if they are white supremacists in their thinking. Watch this. Give our thief the benefit of the doubt. When we now, they gave him the benefit of the doubt. That's what it says. Watch. Lisa Washington tells us first impressions matter. I remember thinking. Young white men don't usually carry burglar tools. Woo! Heard what she said. Young white men don't normally carry carry burglary tools. That's her first impression. That's white supremacy, people. That's white supremacy. It's b embedded in us, in me, in you. Yeah. It don't mean that we should turn a blind eye to people that look like us and are criminals. No. But what we're turning a blind eye is to those that don't look like us and are criminals. So we all make assumptions, huh? I'm thinking maybe he works for the park. Of course, the, other, the, the darker lady says maybe he works for the park. So he has an official position. We replace our Even though he's sitting there acting as suspicious as he can and suspect as he can, looking over his shoulder and all kinds of stuff. But she says, well, maybe he works at the park. Why? Why? He's Caucasian. Blazing Caucasian. With this young man. Now, 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 uh, you know what? I want to go back to the park. Where he he ratchets up the thing and he pulls out like a grinder. This guy here is a pastor. It was odd that somebody had all that uh, that equipment, but you didn't do anything. Now, he said it's odd that somebody had all that equipment. I'm going to interpret what he said. It's odd that a little white, a, a white, a, a young white man had all that burglary equipment. He don't even say burglary equipment. You, you see the past that he's given him in his thinking? There's not even an association with crime. Even though the boy is trying to act as suspicious and suspect as possible. Now, I want to tell you this. Now, the reason why this pastor is going to have that type of reaction, guess what Christianity teaches? You're not under the law. <laughs> so, of course, a white pastor and a black pastor, it wouldn't matter, they're going to say you're not under the law. So, they were definitely going to turn a blind eye to criminal activity. So this is another contributing factor of why the prison population is predominantly blacks and Hispanics. Now, let's extrapolate this. What we're seeing in this video. Let's extrapolate that across um, the Christian church demographic. When when you have a when you have a pastor that believes that it's nothing you could do wrong because you're a white congregation 
and you're white and you're Christian, guess what? Guess what? This is why you're going to have a whole bunch of faggots in the church, lesbians in the church, pedophiles in the church, rapists in the church, extortioners in the church, burglary. Look, look at all the, the mafia movies. They go right to the priest and, Father, I have sinned, blah, blah, blah. And they put a little money down and it's over. That's what Christianity is, y'all. This guy is the poster child. This pastor is a poster child for Christianity in this video. You know how many devils that he must have in his church that are Caucasian? <laughs> Let's keep going. Lots of people stop and stare. A few even question the actor. She she says I, I I have to ask is that your bike? And he says technically no. And she says okay oh all right I want to keep it moving. Good luck. About a hundred people pass by. Only George and Arlene try to stop him. Some tell us they plan to call the police later. Others say they're scared. Keep moving. This woman and her friends give our thief the benefit of the doubt. When we ask why, Visa Washington tells us first impressions matter. I remember thinking young white men don't usually carry burglar tools. So we all that. make assumptions. That is so racist. Young white men don't normally carry burglar tools. Nobody normally carries burglar tools. That's racist. replace our white thief with this young man, Matlock. So they replace the white thief with a black thief. Look what happens, y'all. Remember, an hour, 100 people walk past. No witch hunt occurs. Watch this. Remember, both actors dress in a similar way and are about the same age. Mm -hmm. Is that your bike? Uh, nah. What do you cut the chain for? Right away. Uh, right away somebody yells. Right away somebody yells at him. Right away somebody calls the black guy out. This is, see, when you have systemic racism in Caucasian people and black people, and then you have above that an arcing superstructure that's Composed mainly of judges, lawyers that are ran, operate, built, finance by the enemy and dominant society. Yeah, that's what the jails are for. It's to keep the blacks, the people that don't look like the dominant society in there. That's the over. It's not that they're doing less crime. They're not calling in the crime. They're not even calling it in. Watch this. Wow. Within seconds, another person. Confronts Within seconds, another person confronts him. Is that your bike? Technically, it's not, but it's gonna be mine. More people. Now look, y'all. A mob basically takes place, but by, by comparison, look, look all the people that surround him. You can go to YouTube and see this video. It's like a riot's about to take. Uh, no, it's not, sir. Oh, why are you doing that? Is this? I mean, is this? Look, bike? look at all the people gathering. Is this your bike? It's not, it's no, it is. People are actually calling the police. And sure enough, one man whips out a cell phone to call 911. See? Who called 911 on the white guy? Nobody. A hundred people in an hour walk past. Soon as the black brothers show up, we're the face of crime. Our actor triggers more reaction. Some people are even everybody's calling the police. People taking pictures of him. But they everyone moves away, we reset our camera. 
minutes, and within minutes, another outraged man is yelling. Are you trying to steal that bike? Excuse me, sir, but the bike's been here for, for, for days. Like now, this guy walking up on him and don't even know if he's actually stealing the bike, if it's his, or whatever. He don't even know. He just suspect that he is. Why? He's black. He don't know if he lost the key to it. He's black. They don't give black people the same benefit of the doubt as white people. And so while we are in the land of our captivity, we need to carry ourselves accordingly. No one's going to take it. Well, if that's not your bike, then. Yeah, you okay. can't just come in and take something from somebody. Excuse me, sir. I'm not okay, I'll just take your tools right then. Your now, all for people not wanting to get involved. This guy going to start taking his tools. He don't know if the guy got a gun or what. This is why the jails are full, y'all. Don't be stupid. Last year, 2015, in Illinois, they let go, I forget how many it was, how many thousands of prisoners. 2,000 prisoners? In Illinois, they let go on false arrests that had been locked up for years. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good morning. So, hey, y'all, this is racism. They, they don't love us. They don't like us. The jails were made for us. Come on. It don't matter if they committed murder or not. It don't matter. They just let go of murderers. Oh, oh, let, let me Google that for you. They weren't even uh, they were they weren't even guilty, had no evidence. And they was in jail for murder since teenagers. Come on, y'all. These are our enemies. Now look at this devil here. His white supremacy is stirred up. Not a white lady gonna jump in. Technically, it does. No, it doesn't it's, technically. It's not yours. Take. All right, sir. When we bring out our cameras, David Robb wants us to go after the thief. That kid in the red shirt is hacking away at a bike. Not his. Days, and he has the right to take it and steal it. She may not look like your average bike thief, but actress Ashley Carpenter makes sure anyone who asks... Oh, I didn't see this one. Here's a white lady. Oh, good. Hey. You don't know who this is, do you? Who bike it is? Yeah. yeah. With a little help from Ed Fitzsimmons, the bike chain easily falls away. Oh, my goodness. Look now, you see with the Caucasian lady? They actually come and help. Reginald pedals right past his appalled wife, straight to our actress, asking her if she needs a hand. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll eventually get it. I do some time in Rollway. I can, I can steal it. Oh, you can steal it? Maybe you can help me steal it. <laughs> See? Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The guy walk, dry, walks, he sees a pretty blonde girl. He sees a pretty blonde girl. And uh, she tells him that she's still in the bike. He said, I can help you steal it. He, he, he rides his bike right past his wife, speeds up. <laughs> so you know what this tells us, y'all? That one of the biggest criminals is the white woman. She gonna get away. Oh, she better not be blind and blue eyed. And if the white man thinks this about her, what you think the black man thinks about a white woman? And the black woman, you know she gonna let the white woman go. Blue eyes, nice shape. Oh, please. Everybody's gonna let her go. They're going to say it's no. He, she tells him that she's still in the bike. And he says, 
I can help you steal it. <laughs> I, hey! And his wife is like dumbfounded. This is Christianity, y'all. This is Christianity, y'all. That's why they say you're not under the law. The people that's really not under the law is white people. They're getting away with more crime. No matter if they get caught or not. And for the most part, most of the crime that they do, based on the Department of uh, Justice Statistics, they're not even getting caught. They're not even getting caught, y'all. The justice system is just for us. And it's just for them to lock us up. So I want to I want to I want I want to show y'all something here. Uh This is this these are some statistics. They got the murder rate, okay? It says black including Hispanics and then it says white including Hispanics. So they got Hispanics on both sides, okay? Murder and non-negligent uh, manslaughter. Okay, all races, you know, I think this is statistics from 2012. Uh, 10,351 murders took place. Manslaughter and murder. And whites, including Hispanic, was 4,900. So roughly 500. And blacks and Hispanics was 5,138. Let me tell you why the number is so low is lower for whites. They're not reporting the murders, y'all. They're not prosecuting them like they're prosecuting blacks. They are not. They're not even being reported. This number should be way higher. Many people in the CIA, the FBI, the, 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 the police departments, they're committing murders too. Good morning, baby. How you doing? But guess what? Those don't count. Forcible rape. Now, whites, including Hispanic, is 10,000. And for blacks, it's 5,000. So they're committing way more sexual crimes. Than blacks are. Guess what else is not being added in here? The abortion rate. The abortion clinics. They're not being put, put in here. That's murder. In the first category that we went over. Then let's look at robbery. It says whites including Hispanic. Come on y'all. You're going to tell me that blacks are doing more burglary than white people? That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. We were stolen from Africa. Now, I know this is 2012 statistics and everything, so let's not get it twisted. But come on, you're going to tell me? Please. You're going to tell me that white people, are, black people are doing more shoplifting than white people? Come on, y'all. White people are stealing at the factory where they make the stuff. When it come on shipping containers, they still in stuff. They're not getting caught. It's not getting reported. Aggravated assault. Who is engaging in aggravated assault? Even according to these numbers, and, and these all these numbers are, are are false. Okay, white people are committing way more aggravated assault than black people are. Okay, then they have a total. So it actually shows in these statistics in, in the aggregate, whites are making doing far more crime than blacks are. Okay. Sixty percent of crime is done by white people, while as thirty six point nine percent is done by blacks. The population of blacks is 30.97. Uh, million. And whites is 192.39.
million. So don't don't come to me with this stuff that blacks do more crime and all this kind of stuff. No. 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 The reason why the jails are filled is because it's for us. It's to it's really to bring us back into slavery. I mean, that's what the 13th Amendment actually says. Except uh, slavery is abolished except if you commit a crime. Except if you commit a crime. So slavery has never been abolished. Slavery is going on well and fine in the mighty U.S. of A. It started America. It's going to end America. The prison industrial complex, that's what it's there for. So, you know, I could go over uh, other stats and everything. But I'm, I'm going to leave it there. You see? I want to leave it there. But I thought this was just an inter interesting video that I would share with you all. And uh, I hope that you give this more thought. And people, black people, don't do crime. Crime really doesn't pay. It pays our enemies, but it don't pay for us. Crime shouldn't be an option. You see? But anyway, that's it. I'm going to end this video, and uh, you guys take it easy and have a good day.